improve communication between cooperating scientific on international scale okay wait a second i will check the uh. oh here uh, i stop the sharing and then I check the chat. So how the development, okay, the question is, how can the development of the internet improve communication between cooperating scientific on the international scales? Yeah, that's a good question. I cannot catch what exactly what you ask, but I think, uh, the, for internet development uh, based on the Chicago model and the role-based collaboration, we can establish a platform that okay, uh, can uh, have all the researchers, okay, scientific researchers uh, logging into it. And then we can use, uh, uh, set up the Chicago components in the system and then we can set up and specify different roles for different researchers to play and you uh, can assign them to the roles and then you can compose different roles into a uh, group and i believe in this way it is easy for them to collaborate and to share their ideas i do not know if i exactly answer your question. Uh, the second one is, has there been any work done in stochastics and dynamic models? Okay, that's also a uh, good question. And we have done some dynamic uh, adaptive collaboration. We, we use dynamic uh, assignment that means we suppose in a long term and we do uh, uh, several different times of reassignment by re-evaluation um, but we have not yet used uh, the stochastic model yeah it, it is encouraged to introduce different stochastic uh, models into dynamics and uh, my current uh, work uh, has been has done for uh, uh, modeling the dynamics with uh, sine functions and uh, also with different uh, evaluation metrics. I believe it's if you are interested in this direction, uh, you can uh, contact me and I can give you some reference and we can talk about that. That's a good, that's really a good question. Any more question or any question you do not understand? I think not only if, when you do not understand, and uh, maybe there are many other students have the same question, okay? Uh, what are the best use case of uh, Yama? I, I do not understand, what do you mean your Yama? If I understand your Yama means my work, and uh, so the use cases is on, uh, yeah, I have many, uh, you know, in my paper, you will find that uh, I always have a uh, scenario, okay? I, I uh, in most of my papers, I have one section discuss the scenario, okay? so. Most of our scenario is like that, okay? And it's a CEO of a company. Bob is the director of the human resource. 
And then Bob uh, and just signed a new contract of a half million dollars. And then they need to organize a team and they know the positions, they know the evaluations, they need to assign them to the jobs. And we need to consider different factors. And then we introduce their new uh, problems. And also uh, there now what's the real industry stuff is now we use the DRECR, the first case of DRE plus into uh, university exam scheduling. Okay, we have, uh, we have formalized it and we can have a very, have a very quick uh, the exam assignment, like four weeks, okay, 10 days, or 10 work days, including Saturdays, and we assign rooms okay, uh, for exams at times. And there are many constraints. For example, uh, one student cannot take two exams in one day. And of course, if their uh, exams include same students, they cannot uh, put it at the same time. So such kind of uh, applications have been, uh, have been, have used ECAGO and the GRE model. Good, and also another new question is, what collaboration tools should I use to make my virtual team more effective? Uh, from, from my research here, we do, now we are mainly doing assignment. If you need to do assignments uh, in a group, uh, the platform is uh, CPLEX, that's optimization. But I, but I think your question is about the collaboration tools. For example, uh, in China, we have WeChat. In America, there is Twitter, there is Facebook, right? And also now uh, for our collaboration tools, there is Microsoft Teams, there are Zooms, like now what we are using, and there is also Google chatting, Google video, as I believe we watch, that's what you uh, uh, do this one. I, this one, I, I just have, based on my experience, I think uh, Google chatting is, is good yeah, for uh, it's a virtual team. Yeah, so that's, uh, I do not know if uh, I answer your question, because this one, if you want an, uh, um, decent research result for, for your question, that's still a good one. Okay, you can do that. You can survey uh, for the users of all different ones. You can compare them and you can set up evaluation uh, criteria to evaluate which one is a better uh, virtual team. Yeah, that's also a very good uh, research. It, it is encouraged. And the new one is how do you ensure effective collaboration? That's also a good question. I find that okay, very good. And yeah, if, if effective collaboration, that's okay, you should first define what do you mean by effective collaboration, right? For my uh, research, I define the best collaboration is the best assignment. And the best assignment is the sum of all the assigned evaluation agent value, uh, it's the best, okay? So that's why I, I introduced new constraints because the, at the beginning, GRA gets some, it's a maximum, but it, in reality, it does not really reflect the real effectiveness of a collaboration or successful because, for example, uh, when I compare with GRA CR conflicts, conflict uh, uh, agent to uh, GRA. So we see GRA, it's, that's GRA, what we get is ideal, but there is a real, real one, it's down. We, we assume some the down factors. And but the GRA CR getting, is a little down than GRA, but uh, over better than the real world GRA. So that's, uh, that's my research for, the effective collaboration. Actually, effective collaboration include uh, many other aspects. For example, the satisfaction of uh, the agents uh, participating and also their total revenue for their collaboration. 